Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to model a support combining two pipes. So before creating a supports, we have to click here on defaults and here the supports application default you have to click select and here you have to select your zone in which you are going to model the supports i will select this one okay okay and now whatever supports i will model it will model under this pipe support zone for creating a support so we have to click here on the framework and here i will select xft09 now it's asking identify the tube of datum pipe so i will use this one and now the ancillary selection is open you have to select your ancillary here now the support is created here we have to bring this supports up to this member for that we have to click on here position and i will select this element and now i will click on this structure member the support move from that location to this location now you have to close this one and we have to add this pipe also for that you have to click here support additional pipe select this one select this one and here you choose the your ancillary So we choose the ancillary and now we have to increase the length of this support here. For that, you can see here the width. We have to increase this one to 1500 and then enter. Now the width is increased here. And we have to extend this member up to this portion for that we have to click here build by and select this structure member now the support structure member is extended up to the beam now here we have to change the member size for that we have to click on this set steelwork template and here i will select this beam okay now the support is model with proper member size and now you want to guide here For that, we have to click on this ancillary and click on add associated. And now you choose the guide here. Uh, 
you can see that now the guide is created here same way you can choose access top here also we want click on here and we will choose the guide again now we have to click on apply the support is modeled here you can check this one because maybe some height have some difference you will escape this one now the support is created so now I will show you how we can copy the supports for copying existing support you have to click here copy supports and i want to bring this support up to this member so already given the distance of 6000 so identify the tube i will select this one I will cancel this one here. Now the support is copied here. Now we have to click on uh, modify supports because we have to trim this member size. For that again you have to select here build by and now you select here and the member size reduced. So in this way we can model and copy existing supports to new supports. If you have any comments related to supports, please comment in the comment box.